Radiant Art Inspirations. If you're new, this channel is all about easy, fun, bad face paint tutorials every single week. Before we get started, I would like to ask you one quick and really easy question. Which background do you like more? Do you like black or do you like white? Which one helps you learn and see better? This way, I know which background to make to make it easier and better for you. And with the comments in the bottom, the majority of the color that is picked, I'll make sure that next week that the background is that color. Today, we are doing another two-in-one video. Not only are we going to be creating a really fun full face pink and orange tiger, but we'll also be doing a product review on Color Master's new Neon and Pearl palette. This video is not sponsored, but it's a genuine review that I want to make just for you. Here is the Color Master Neon and Pearl palette. It's nice and slick. It's pretty and it has the top row are all pearls and the bottom row are all neons. This palette comes with 12 colors, six pearl and six neon along with two brushes. To me, when it comes to pearl colors, I'm very picky because it's very difficult to not only keep the pigment but to keep the shimmer when you're actually using it in action. This brand does a really great job doing that. As a face painter, we all know that painting with neon colors isn't very easy, but when it comes to sponging, it makes any design give it a beautiful pop factor. So this, this on the bottom of the colors, they are awesome to sponge with, giving it a really nice vibrant look. I mean, they're neon, right? They should be vibrant, otherwise they wouldn't be called neon. Duh. But let's get into the swatch test. So the first row are pearl colors, such as pearl silver, gold, pink, purple, green, and blue. And honestly, they are all just so stunning. Green being one of my favorites on their palette. On the second row, you have your neons. You have neon yellow, green, orange, pink, purple, and blue. All these colors look better sponged instead of painted on with the brush. Their purple and blue are more prime colors than neon. My favorite thing about this palette is that it's Amazon Prime. So not only is it two day shipping, but it's free shipping. And I am kind of a sucker for free shipping. <laughs> when I buy anything, it's like, it has to be free shipping. If it's not, I'm like, Man, do I really need this? <laughs> so not only does it have great pigments, but it's also Amazon Prime. And currently they only have sample palettes because they are a brand new business, but they'll soon be selling individual colors as well. I'll be putting the link of the palette below. Now let's get started on the tiger. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. First, for any tiger or design that you create, you always want to start off with white. Sponge the bridge of the nose and create the muzzle. And then wipe it up a little bit to give it the proper shape that you want. Then you're going to sponge half of the eyelid in a triangular shape and a little bit on the bottom as well. Do the same on both sides. And of course, add a little bit of glitter. Next, mix neon yellow and gold to sponge on the inside of the eye. And then with neon orange, sponge the rest of the face just like this. Then you'll be mixing neon pink and pearl pink to create the centerpiece along with the cheek area. Give it a nice good sponge to really blend in the colors, giving it not only a feminine look, but also a more textural look as well. It does look a little weird here, so we are cleaning up the edge with a wipey so that it doesn't go below the top lip. And of course, add glitter. With sponging being done, grab a number four brush and draw the nose. You want to make sure that the nose is nice and thin to allude to a tiger. 
Then with a the number two brush, draw a backward teardrop and then thicken out the top lip and back. Once that is done, create a very thin line to outline the white to create the muzzle. Next, with the number four brush, begin to draw the lines in a nice teardrop curled shape. Do the same on both sides. Later, with a number two brush, really accentuate a cat eye and then lightly bring it down to bring out the eyes to make them look really big. Do the same on both sides. Then, on the edge of the eyebrow, you're going to create a nice, thick, small teardrop. Just like your typical tiger stripe, you're going to create a small one on both sides of the tip of the eyebrow. When it comes to the centerpiece, everyone has their own take on how they want to do it. Here we are creating two, I don't really know what you would call them, but two of these things on the forehead to bring out the pink centerpiece without over dominating the face. And then create three lines on each side of your centerpiece going smaller as you get closer to the eyebrow. Make sure to do the exact same on the other side. When you're doing a full face tiger like this or any kind of cat, you wanna make sure that it is symmetrical as possible, but it doesn't need to be perfect because no cat is perfectly symmetrical. Then for the center, create nice thick dots, a little bit like cheetah print, but not too much. And then create more dots With the same brush, you're gonna create tiger stripes on the cheeks, going near the eye, around the muzzle, and then two more in the center of your two dominant lines. Then with a the number two brush, you're gonna create dots in areas that you think needs it. Once that is done, add a few more dots on the inner corner of the eye because it looks a little bit naked. You want to add something there to really bring the piece together. Lastly, we're using Pearl Purple to paint the bottom of the lip to finish up your look. Yay, you're all done. Give yourself and this video a thumbs up. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.